Let's delete this table. We don't need it anymore. Let's edit the themes data set. Um, scripts. So before we open it, we'll create like uh, the map object. Let's call it themes. Is equal to new object. And then whenever we fetch a row from the themes data set, we will say themes index row index literal ID is equal to row index literal name. save so now we have the mapping let's go back to the uh, plant items by team data set and add a custom column or a computed column that will store the, uh, the human readable theme so it's theme string and the expression is pretty simple so row index string val will be the ID of the theme. So if we do if we do themes index that we should get the human readable theme. It's time to uh, debug the report. So let's take this table and drag it here and preview it. Great. So now we have the uh, the counts and the human readable theme theme names. We are ready to create the uh, chart. So let's delete this table and let's insert a chart. Let's use a bar chart. Let's use a data set which is the uh, plant items by theme. The x-axis will be the theme. The first series will be the count. Um, okay, we don't need the title. And we don't need the legend, since we have just one series. And let's make the, uh, the labels on the x-axis vertical. So we're done. Let's resize the, uh, the chart. And let's preview it. So currently the chart plots uh, data about the whole project area. Um, we would like to allow the user to select team areas so they can see data about some team areas. Let's create a data set that's going to fetch the team areas. This is a parameter data set that removes uh, duplicates. And usually I use the work item changes too. Okay, let's go back here. This should be a parameter data set. With item changes to select everything. So project area item ID, team area ID, and team area name. Let's set the uh, project area to the current project area. And let's preview. Great, so now we have the list of all team areas. Now let's create a report parameter. Let's call it 
team area. Uh, it's a string. It's a list box. Dynamic. So let's choose team areas here. So the value column is the team area item ID, and the display text is the team area name. And we would like to make this an optional parameter. And let's sort by uh, team area name. Save. So now we have the report parameter. Let's bind it to the uh, data set. So we go here, we go to parameters, and the team area ID should be bound to team area. Let's preview. So by default, we will see the data for all the team areas, but we can do show report parameters. And we can choose a um, RTC development. This is the team area. So now we have data about RTC development. Let's try something else. Uh, process. Now we have data about process. So our report template is done. Now let's deploy it to the server. So we go to the Team Artifact Navigator. We create a new template. And then we browse to the file that we just saved. Let's uh, assign this to the root team area so everybody can see it. For now, the report is not shared, so I'm the only one that can see it. Once I'm satisfied with the report, I can check this and make it shared so everybody else can see it. The template is deployed, so now I can create a report out of that template. So, themes, run items by theme, spend it. So now I see data about all the team areas, so now I can choose. Let's see reports. Here, I think uh, we are done. Thanks for your attention.